Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jessica and today I'm doing an update on my 2022 deck of panning project. Got my good friend Marilyn here, she's ready to go. In this project you randomly select cards from a deck of cards that correlate with some different prompts that help you to choose items from your makeup collection. It's a lot of fun and I have some exciting updates to share with you today. This project was created by Emily from Emily and Max so I always have have her listed in the description box as well as here up in the cards so check out her channel she also has a very descriptive introduction video so if you want to know more about this project I will link that video in the description box so you can check it out and understand all of the fine nuances of this really fun makeup painting project not gonna dilly dally too long. I wanna go ahead and get on into the update. So let's go ahead and get started. And I will be able to roll out some items today and that means we get to draw a couple new cards. So stay tuned for that. The first product we're going to update you on is this Alouette Face and Cheek Tint in the shade Blooming Berry. This item got brought into my project at the very beginning, at my introduction. So it's been with me for quite a long time. I drew the card six of clubs. The prompt was in it for the long haul. So I decided to go ahead and grab a cream blush because it's an item that I don't often use in my normal makeup routine. So I really wanted to challenge myself to get some good use on my only cream blush in my collection. In it for the long haul meant that my goal was to use this item a whopping 100 times, which was a lot. It didn't seem like that difficult of a challenge at the beginning, but looking back, it took me quite a long time to get there. But good news with that long haul prompt is I've made some really good progress on this item. So you can really see that it has a nice little pinch in there and compared to what it looked like when I rolled this item in, I'll insert a video of that now, I have made some significant progress on this cream blush during those 100 uses, but still there's a ton of product left in there. And that just goes to show you how long these liquid blushes really do last you. I wouldn't call myself a cream blush girl. I still prefer powder blushes. I did find that this lasted a little bit longer when I put it underneath my powder and underneath my powder blush. So last month I was so close to my goal. I had used it 88 times and I was able to use it the additional 12 times in the past month, making for that grand total of 100 uses, hooray, we finally made it and that long haul is finally over. And I feel really proud of myself for staying dedicated and using this that 100 times in not too many months. I mean, really it was, took me five months. Averaging about 20 uses per month, we got there. I did enjoy using it though. It wasn't a bad product to reach for on a daily basis. So I'm glad that I brought it in and got to know this product a little bit better and come to appreciate it. And now it's finally gotten some solid use in my collection. It was neglected for a long time. And we get to roll this one out finally, hooray. Thank you, goodbye. The next item is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And I brought this in when I drew the Eight of Clubs which was the prompt, a brand you only own one of. And this is the only Stila item that I have in my collection. So I reached for this and I really wanted to bring it in as well because it is at the end of its life and I wanted to get some good final use on it before it's completely dried out. So my goal was to use this 30 times or use it until it was completely used up. I had used it 16 times in the last update and in the past month I used it an additional three times making for a total of 19 uses. And I am here to tell you folks that we are gonna call this one done. It is not performing anymore. The three times I used it this month, I really didn't like how it applied. I kind of felt like it ruined my makeup look or just brought it to a place that I didn't really like it just was very chunky and it fell all over my face no matter if I used glitter glue or even eyelash glue to try and get this glitter to adhere to my eyes it was just so chunky that the chunks were like falling into my face and sometimes even into my eyeball which was not pleasant of course and that can really damage your eye if you're not careful so we're gonna call this one done I made 19 more uses on it I did give it that final spurt of life but it's just not where we need it to be to apply it to my face and enjoy that process. So with 19 uses, we are gonna roll it out. I didn't reach that goal of 30 uses, but I did give it a solid try. But I guess you could say I reached the other goal of using it up because you can't use it anymore. So I'm gonna call that used up. And I did try and revive this. I put Duraline in there to try and give it some more moisture and just mix in with that glitter, but 
If anything, I felt like it made it even a little bit worse. It just made it more chunky. So we're gonna get rid of this one. We're rolling that out and that's one less item in my inventory. It had a good long life and it's definitely time to say goodbye. So goodbye. Next, we have this Temp2 Liquid Bronzer. This is their Shimmer Bronzer. I brought this item in when I drew the Eight of Diamonds, which had the prompt liquid at the time. And this was an item that I already wanted to finish up during this year. So this was the perfect excuse to bring it in. And I do want to empty this completely. And I think I should be able to do that this summer if I continue to get some steady use on it. I had used this four times before the last update. It was weighing 28.37 grams. And in the past month, I used it an additional five times. It's now weighing 26.81 grams. So I've used 1.56 grams of liquid bronzer however I can't draw a new line so that's where it's at today and I was really hoping to be able to get it low enough to draw a new line but I've been mixing this up quite a bit it's been in my drawer rolling around and I was hoping it would settle in the time for this video but it hasn't and even when it was settled it was so it was just slightly lower than that line so it would be really difficult to draw an accurate line there I'm just going to wait until I'm able to get a clear view and then we'll do a new mark but I was able to use it a couple times which is good I kind of forget to reach for this one but now that I'm wearing more summery wardrobe and I'm on my summer vacation where I don't have to be all buttoned up and professional for work I can put this on my decollete I actually have it on today just to give me a little bit more of a bronze I think I put a little bit on my shoulder as well and that's basically how I've been using it in this project in the past month hopefully I can use this more on my arms and legs in the next month or two and get more significant product used up with that method so this one's gonna stay in hopefully only for a couple more months like if I was able to make this big of a jump in a month I think if I am using this a handful of times I can maybe get this out in the next two months hopefully during these months of summer when this is a really appropriate product to reach for so that one's gonna stay in the next item is from Suva Beauty and it is their Hydro Liner in the shade Doodle D. And it's a split pan with neon pink and neon orange on either side. I have still that purple in the lid from that first time I applied it. So you can't really see it from the front. I will clean that eventually, sorry. I brought this in when I drew the card, the Seven of Hearts and the prompt for that card at the time was astrology sign. So I am a Gemini. Geminis are very dualistic. They have not, they're not two-faced. They have a duality to them. They have some more complexity than maybe your average personality. <laughs> what can I say? I really like Geminis and I like being one as well. So here is that split pan. My goal was to use this five times. I used it one time in the first month and I was really hoping to use it a couple more times in this last month. However, unfortunately, I only reached for it one additional time, making for two total uses on this item. And you should be able to see that there's like a slight dip happening in that pink shade just from those two uses. So at least you can see some progress on the on the pan. I haven't used the orange shade yet, so I'd really like to experiment with that one as well. We are trying to appreciate both sides of the Gemini, so I definitely wanna make some use of that before the next update. I'll insert a picture here of the one time that I did use this item. I basically just made a simple hot pink neon wing, which looked really cute. You know, just like a shimmery gold eyeshadow on the lid and then that pop of pink on the wing. And I loved how it looked. However, I went to the beach when I was wearing it. I was just walking on the beach. I wasn't swimming or doing anything strenuous. I was only there maybe for 10 minutes and this liner basically, like my eyes watered a little bit and this liner disappeared on one of my eyes. It looked great on the other eye, but the watery eye, it was just a little bit of water with a sunny beach and it was basically gone and it did not look good anymore. So that was unfortunate. I wish this was a little bit more long lasting. It's supposed to be like water resistant, but being water activated, how does that really work? I don't know. So yeah, that is my story there. The other one held up fine. So I guess if you are gonna wear this product, just don't wear it to the beach. Don't be like me and you'll be fine. You'll be just fine. So we have two total uses. That means I have three more uses to reach my goal on this item. And I'm really gonna try and do that before the next update. So wish me luck. I really need to push myself to wear this and just find some fun excuses to wear some neon liners. We need more excuses like that in our lives. 
I think. The next item is from Cover FX. It is their Shimmer Veil in the shade Amethyst. And I rolled this in when I drew the Seven of Spades, which at the time had the prompt, the color of your shirt. I was wearing a pale pinky lavender tank top at the time, which is one of my favorite colors. And I just thought this was the perfect shade to roll in. And it really did fit the color of that tank top almost perfectly. Let me get the tank top for you. So here's the tank top and here is the eyeshadow. I mean, come on. So I kind of unofficially rolled this out last month. My goal was to use it 10 times and I had used it eight total times in the last update. So I was able to use it that additional two times meeting my goal of 10 uses. And we are gonna roll this out now officially. I still had it in, but I basically drew in another card to replace this item when I did reach that 10 use goal. So I'm glad I did that because I would have only had four items to really work on because using this two more times was nothing. I didn't even have to think about it. I really do love this eyeshadow. It's a beautiful shade and I love wearing purples, especially purple lavenders. I feel like it can be quite neutral, good for every day, but still just a little something special. So really enjoyed having this in. It had been a long time since I'd gotten any use on it. So that's one of the reasons I love this project is it gives me such a great opportunity to reach for items that I wouldn't normally reach for or that just get ignored in my collection. The last item I've been working on this month was my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Amber Rush. And I really, really like this eyeshadow. It's one of my favorite singles that I have in my collection. I rolled this in when I drew the Jack of Diamonds, which was for whole collection roulette. So I randomly selected a drawer and then I randomly selected a number from that drawer and I grabbed in and I reached for this eyeshadow here. And my goal is to use this 30 times while it is in my project. It's a beautiful, beautiful single. I know a lot of you like this as well or have it in your collection. Let's watch it for you here. There she is, it's very, very shimmery, very neutral, very great for every day. Last month, this item was looking like this. I definitely used it a couple times in the life of this item, but it didn't have a ton of use before rolling it into this project. In the past month, I've used it nine times, so it's looking like this today. There's starting to be a small little dip in there, which is exciting to see. I do not intend to hit pan on this. My goal is to use this 30 times while it's in my project. I'm kind of treating it like I would any of my pan those eyeshadows. Because it is such an easy shade and a shade that I enjoy so much, I want to give it a good solid use goal of 30 times. So I have 21 more uses before we roll this out. I'm hoping I can do that in the next two months. It is kind of tricky mixing this in with all my other eyeshadow projects. You know, maybe they're getting a little bit less use than they would, but ultimately, you know, it's all for the cause. <laughs> we all just have to make sacrifices sometimes. And I'm really enjoying having this around and using it. These are great, great eyeshadows from the drugstore. So if you're looking for maybe a pop of color, a nice shimmery formula, this is kind of like a pressed pigment type formula, I would definitely recommend picking up one of these if you haven't tried them. So we're rolling out three items, the Cover FX Shimmer Veil, the Stila Glitter and Glow, and the Alouette Face and Cheek Tint. And we are going to keep three items in our project. We're keeping in the Temp2 Bronzer, the Suva Beauty Hydro Liner with three more uses. I'm really gonna try and go for that one. And the L'Oreal Infallible Single Eyeshadow. So because I had rolled in an item already last month to replace the Cover FX Shimmer Veil, we're just gonna draw two more cards to replace these two items that are getting kicked out of this project today. I have my spreadsheet from Emily pulled up. She so lovingly shuffles this spreadsheet for us every month, so it's nice and new for each update. I have my Marilyn Monroe cards here and ready, and there is indeed that Joker card that is Marilyn Monroe's signature in this deck, and I'm gonna just stick it in there. We're gonna give this a nice couple shuffles, and then I'm gonna cut the deck and draw my two cards. I haven't drawn the Joker yet, but if I draw the Joker, it means I have to pan an item that I really don't want to pan. So either it's something that will be really difficult to pan, it's something that I don't want to pan or use up, or maybe it's an item like I don't really enjoy using. So wish me luck. I don't really wanna get the Joker, but I guess if I do get it, it could be entertaining for all of us. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these cards. I'm gonna do it on my leg. Let's see if I can do this. I'm standing again y'all couldn't tell. This is my new angle. I was having too much time trying to sit down in my filming angle. I have very limited filming options in my very small apartment that I live in. I'm going to do an apartment tour at some point so you all can just understand what I'm dealing with. It's a very cute place but 
there's no space for anything. You're literally just pointed into a corner here where my vanity sits. Okay, we're gonna shuffle one more time. All right, there we have it. We're gonna cut the deck, put it underneath, and then I always just draw the cards on top. So let's draw that first card. Okay, we have the eight of spades. Love me an eight. And our next card. Ooh, the three of diamonds. A girl's best friend. So let me see what those prompts are and then we'll try and select some items. And phew, no joker this time. Eight of Spades is a product that already has pan, so I do have at least one I can think of that I could pull in, but I'm gonna explore my collection and see what else I can find that already has pan on it that I can try and put a goal onto. I don't know what that goal's gonna be. We'll see what the item is. The Three of Diamonds is a bronzer. So I'm already painting a bronzer, but that's okay. I'm gonna bring in another bronzer just to get a usage goal on, and it'll just be a good way for me to play with other items in my collection that are being neglected during my normal project pan. So let's pick those two items. I'll be right back and let you know what they are. Okay, we have our two items. To be honest, I'm not super excited with these prompts. I just think they're kind of a little bit boring, a little bit basic, but that's okay. I just didn't have a lot of options to choose from for what to pull in. So it is what it is. We just will put kind of a lower usage goal on them to just get them in, get some use, and then get them out for the next update. So for that eight of spades, an item that already has pan on it, I decided to bring in one of my only items in my collection that already has pan on it, and that isn't in another project already. And that item is my Hourglass Diffuse Lighting Powder in the shade Diffuse Light. And I really love this powder. I had it in a project pan last year with a goal of hitting pan on it, and I actually did. And I fell in love with this item during that time I really enjoy this powder so I've been continuing to use it on a regular basis and expanding that pan I'll show a video here of what it looked like when I hit pan on it and rolled it out of that other project and here's what it's looking like today so hopefully you'll be able to see that that pan probably is significantly larger and there's also quite a dip on the sides of this too I mostly use this on my under eye to brighten it up and smooth out a little bit and I also use it on my t-zone like my middle part of my forehead and sometimes on my chin and nose just to give it a nice smoothing effect and even sometimes like below my jaw. So I really like it as a brightening shade. I find it as a great finishing touch for any makeup look. I think it does give a nice blurred effect to a makeup look. So if you are looking for something like that, this is an expensive product, but I really love how it performs. I'm gonna set a goal on this item at 20 uses. I should be able to do that in the span of a month and it should just be interesting to see how much progress I'm able to make on that pan during that time. I feel like this is kind of cheating because this is already an item that is in my everyday makeup drawer. I reach for it on a semi-regular basis, like probably every other day, if not multiple times a week and I don't know, I didn't really have a lot of options. I don't have a lot of other things with pan on them. And the things I do have with pan are already in my project pan. So there you have it. We're gonna continue working on that. I'm gonna try and get through these 20 uses quickly so I can bring something else into this project. Cause I really wanna focus on fun, kind of different makeup pieces for this project that will just push my creativity and push me to use things I don't normally reach for. And this one I definitely do. The Three of Diamonds was for a bronzer, and I decided to choose a bronzer in my collection that is brand new, never been touched, and that is my newest butter bronzer from Physicians Formula in the shade Deep Bronzer. And I really love this bronzer. I have actually completed, I think, two of them. Is it two? During my time of panning, I think I've gone through at least one, maybe two of these bronzers, and I really, really love it. It just has such a nice, buttery formula that just goes on so smoothly. This is their deeper shade. So I decided to bring this in for summertime when I need a little bit more of a deep shade to um, match with my more bronze skin. I have another bronzer that I'm working on panning in my regular project pan. I'll link that above if you want to check it out. So I don't want to put too many uses on this as a goal. I don't want to detract from that other bronzer too much, but I would like to just play with this a little bit it smells so good. I, I love this bronzer. <laughs> I really do. I actually have two of them in my collection and they were both sitting in there as backups. 
for some reason. I don't, I'm kind of done buying backups, but these were on sale when I bought them. So I knew I loved the bronzer. I wanted that deeper shade to try. So I went ahead and picked them up and it'll be nice to at least kind of break the seal on this one and get it into my life. It's just been sitting in my drawer unopened for I think like over a year now. So it's about time for it to get some use. We're going to set my usage goal for this at 15 uses. Nothing too crazy. I should be able to do that in the span of, I'm gonna say two months. I don't wanna try and use this every day. I don't wanna take away from my other bronzer too much. But with 15 uses, it'll at least have its seal broken and it won't be brand spanking new anymore. So that is that. Okay, everyone, that is my update for my deck of panning project. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if these roll-ins or roll-outs were not as exciting as we thought they would be, but it's all up to the fates of the cards, you know? You never know what you're gonna get, and that's part of the fun of these projects as well. And of course, it's up to the fate of Marilyn Monroe. Whatever she decides, I should be focusing on. So I hope you are doing well out there. I hope you enjoyed my update. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how your deck of panning project is going. What cards did you roll in this month? I can't wait to check out everyone's videos. They're always so fun to watch. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my updates updates on any of my project pans, which there are quite a few right now. I hope you're having a great day out there and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!